Hey guys, 91 Extreme RT here, and this is going to be a quick video on how to make macros. I know I've gone over uh, this before in uh, my Rift Talk video, but uh, I'm going to do a newer video since a lot of my newer subscribers, since I made that video, uh, constantly ask me. Um, they comment in videos, send me private messages, etc., etc. So I'm going to make this video so I don't have to respond to, you know, the same question, you know, 14, 15, 30, 40, 50 times a day. So um, the first thing you want to know about a macro and how they work is that it, when you type in cast, say, ability 1 and ability 2, etc., etc., it's always going to cast in the order that you put them in, etc. Um, so it's going to cast this ability first and cast a second ability. And what you want to do is have your highest damaging ability that's on a cooldown first, then your second highest damaging ability second. Um, and the last ability that you want to have is going to be a no cooldown ability. Um, it's going to be a spam ability. So for me, it would be like Savage Strike or Swift Shot or something like that uh, for Rogue, uh, depending on the spec you're playing. So you're always going to want to have your highest damaging ability first and your second highest damaging ability second and make sure that they're on cooldowns because if they're not on cooldown it's just going to keep using the same ability over and over and over again so if you have a no cooldown ability first in the macro it'll always hit that and never get to the other ones because how a macro works is that it uses the abilities in order that you put them that you type them in so um, if the first ability has no cooldown it's just going to keep hitting it because of that. You have to have an ability that has a cooldown first because once it's on cooldown and you hit the macro again, it's all automatically going to default to the second ability that is available to use um, that's not on a cooldown and uh, so on and so forth. So, I mean, you can have unlimited amount of abilities in a macro um, and they're going to go in order based on cooldown. So you don't want your no, no cooldown ability in the middle of the macro anywhere. It has to be at the end of the macro. And that's how they work. Um, like this one macro I have for uh, my assassin spec here. Uh, cast Expose Weakness, Cast Assassinate. Uh, those two are basically used... Uh, on cooldown the assassinate is only used in stealth so after I'm out of stealth assassinate will not no longer be used in the macro uh, so then it goes to threat of death serpent strike poison malice backstab and savage strike leaping plunge and swift shot so um, and that's basically how I set up the macros like if you're in a melee spec you want to have a ranged uh, non cooldown ability or a charge at the end of the macro. Uh, like on mine, it's Leaping Plunge and Swift Shot. So if the enemy is out of range of my Leaping Plunge, which I think is only 20 or 30 meters, I can still hit them with Swift Shot until I get in range of them. And once I get in range, uh, because all of my other abilities are melee abilities, it'll automatically use my Leaping Plunge uh, once I'm in range and basically make me get right to the target. Uh, and then I'll continue on with using my melee macros uh, in order. So uh, that is the easiest way I can think to explain it. Um, just remember that you always have to have your cooldown abilities above or on top of the macro and your no cooldown ability at the end of the macro. Um, you can only have one no cooldown ability in a macro and it has to be at the end because if you have two, no cooldown abilities, whichever one's first, it'll always use that one. It'll never use the one after it. Um, and that's just how macros work. So uh, hopefully that uh, clears it up for you guys. Um, uh, been making macros for years, so to me it seems easy and kind of second nature. Um, so hopefully uh, this all made sense to you people and uh, you can start getting your, uh, your macro issues uh, worked out. So all right, that is it. See you later.